Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nark. Welcome along to a part two, or chapter two, of our playthrough of Portal 2. Last time, we had just been uh, woken up at GLaDOS, and we were right at the beginning of chapter two here. We've got our dual portal device, and um, we are ready to continue testing. And, uh, yeah, I do. Okay, so this is the part where they kind of swap out the HEP for the lasers. So yeah, lasers in Portal Two just replace the high energy pellets. But yeah, it's just about waiting that bit because like the markers are already there for the HEP. So the minute you walk into the room, you can like instantly see that um, you can only instantly see that you need to place them. At the top and the bottom. So um, as glass swaps them out, the portals are in place. That's the way I, I looked at that anyway. Anyway, the timer should update to a bit of more of a realistic time. There we go. Gets rid of my pause time between chapters. And um, onwards we go. This test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your... I'll just well, rather call them laser so. redirection cubes. So now we'll both get to see how uh, okay. they work. There should be one in the corner. So, it's quite weird. Despite the fact I said like I haven't played this like f I've like played the campaign twice, it's really weird. It's it's almost I was having this conversation with somebody the other day. Um, I can't think of who it was I was talking to about it, but anyway, I digress. Um, I was basically saying something along the lines of, I speak French, but I know very little French, and it's not until I like go to France that um, I can kind of like remember a lot of the French that I know. Um, well it's almost done. a bit like this. I, as you I play more of this, I seem to remember a, a lot more of the puzzles and how to solve them. Um, which is really weird, because when somebody talks to me about portal puzzles, I have no idea and no recollection at all um, as to like what... I mean, like LB, for instance, would say, oh, you know, in the puzzle called such and such. I have no idea what the puzzles are called. But, um, yeah. It's just a data I'm also like paying a close attention to Gladys's voice lines in this because I always give LB a hard time for like um, for like it's calling Chell fat and whatnot. But um, oh wow, I didn't realize that. That's interesting. There are like markers on here, so it's almost like the I find that really odd, really bizarre. It's almost like the. Um, uh, the head pellets, like they do give off like a faint mark. Do they do that in like normal puzzle maker? Really? Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly under. I never knew that. I oh, here we go. Look, here we go. The odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> First weight dig. Yeah, I, I never really. I don't know. I guess I just played through the the, the game. When I first played through it, I wasn't really paying much attention to dialogue and bits and pieces, so I kind of missed the whole like Gladys is taunting Shell for being Chell for being fat the whole time. One moment. So, yeah, my bad. But yeah, I really didn't know that about like the the laser receipt like receptacles. Feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Uh, okay. So let's go over here. Gives us a cube. Go away, emails. I ain't got time for that. Oh wow, this is like pretty slow. Talk about slow. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. <laughs> we'll make your mind up. Jeez. There's so much loading in this game, I didn't realise before. It's like, the levels are like really, really short. And, um, you get like one puzzle per level. It's bizarre. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. They could not. Good luck. luck. Oh, I remember some of the voice lines now. Hey, look at that timing. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. 
so you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. Good job, Aperture. I thought that was interesting. Energy efficient. Energy efficient. Everyone loves a bit of energy efficiency. Energy efficient? What am I talking about? Just efficiency. Efficiency will do. Very efficient. Very efficient Let's indeed. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I can have so, many, have so much of this dialogue. made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Ah, this one. All right, so this is the chamber. Where you can get into the Ratman den and decode a message, right? Yeah, this is the one. All right, so... Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around. Yeah, you get like the radio come through here and you have to take it over into that one. Towards you. That's not garbage. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Maybe I don't need to though, because I can use an edgeless safety cube to power the button. So I don't even need to uh, do it again a second time. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And okay. I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time. <laughs> I love the way she's like, just defined her insult and then insults her a second time. Well, man, I missed so much dialogue. The dialogue in this game is quality. Obviously, I've heard like... Countless repetition of voice lines as I've played Community Chambers. Guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting sign. Oh, did I accidentally... Oh, GLaDOS. ...before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. <laughs> I fizzled that one, too. Oh, oh, the well. humorous side. We have warehouses, warehouses full of things. things. Absolutely, Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get, happy rid, to of get rid of them. Hey, Wheatley. I keep seeing Wheatley. Alright, so. I think I remember this one. You have to like do a couple of flings to get all the way up to the top, if I remember. So. Yeah, you probably want to do like... I think I need to grab the cube till the second fling, though, perhaps. Oh no, we need to grab it this time. Alright, so. Woohoo! Alright. And this is the, the. Yeah, this is the one that um, you can actually bring the cube out of. This one is broken. Don't and that one's just missing the whole thing. I think there was meant to be a model there that they maybe just didn't put in. They've cut, uh, cut it out for the Fizzler, but they've just not put the Fizzler model in there. So, but yeah, that's I'm sure that's that's the one where you can like take something and there's an achievement for that one. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Okay. Oh no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test and that's the reference to I'll that's the right reference back. to Moby Dick, isn't it? I remember that one. Definitely. I'm just sailing through these. This is like this is like <laughs> this is probably like the easiest let's play ever. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of chapter two. Hope you're enjoying so far, guys. Again, leave your comments, your thoughts about the game. Uh, discuss what I've discussed if you want. Uh, I'll be happy to, you know, open up dialogue about that. But make sure you come back for chapter three as we play through Portal 2. But until next time, I've been Ock, you've been awesome. Happy gaming.